Anyway, good morning everyone. I'm Ofra Museri and I'm the general manager of uh, Exclaris across the EMEA, EMEA uh, region. I'm very happy to be here, very happy to uh, see many uh, familiar faces and uh, meet some uh, new uh, friends and colleagues. Uh, firstly, I would like to thank Anne and the Sheffield uh, team for hosting us here uh, in the lovely facility. And uh, thank you for that. And thank you also for the partnership uh, along the, the journey. And uh, also thanks for everyone who traveled from far uh, to join us today. Uh, it's appreciated um, very much. So um, I think that you know, what we can say from the Ex Libris point of view is that, first of all, we recognize and we see this very clearly that digital uh, asset management and digital preservation is a booming uh, space. It's a booming domain. And we see this in different territories, different uh, uh, geographies. Uh, Adi shared with me some uh, staggering numbers, actually. Uh, so apparently the digital universe is growing at, ex at an uh, exponential uh, rate. So in 2015, the global volume of digital content, that means uh, any form of analog or digital uh, 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 documents, files, financial data, uh, uh, pictures uh, and so forth, research documents was five, uh, was eight zettabyte. Okay, that's uh, eight trillion gigabytes. And by 2020, this is expected to be 40. And by 2025, this is expected to be 180 zettabyte. So this is uh, growing uh, amazingly. And of course, this comes with the burden and the challenge of how to manage all this in a, in a sensible and uh, manageable way. And we indeed, across uh, the world and also here in, uh, in, in Europe, we see many libraries, most libraries, if not all, are uh, giving priority to digital content uh, management and delivery in different forms, including mobile, that is becoming uh, uh, very, uh, uh, very uh, much uh, needed. And we see this uh, growing interest from all, all parts of the region. Uh, so just uh, to name uh, the latest addition to our European uh, uh, install base, we have uh, friends and colleagues from HBZ, from Germany. Thanks for making the, the journey. Uh, 40 libraries, 40 universities uh, using Rosetta soon to manage uh, all forms of uh, content, including images, documents, uh, audiovisual, uh, and mass amounts of research uh, uh, information across a very large geographic and uh, a operational uh, scope. And HBZ is just an example of the very strong uh, position and uh, uh, install base for Rosetta in Germany. We have other colleagues uh, from Germany and German-speaking countries uh, utilizing Rosetta. And we see this also uh, in other parts. Sheffield, of course, here in the UK, we hope others uh, from the UK higher education uh, uh, domain, but also in other parts of continental Europe, are looking into uh, those type of solutions also with Rosetta in mind. And I can also say that this is also uh, uh, part of what we see um, uh, with all those combinations, integrations, especially among the Alma and the Primo uh, customers looking for ways to uh, explore and to leverage the possible integrations between the solutions, and this continues to be a very strong focus area for us as the product uh, uh, vendor or manufacturer to explore, to leverage, to maximize those integrations for you, for the user community. So I think that uh, I will leave uh, more for the, uh, for the rest of the, of the speakers, but just from our side, uh, we are here with a relatively uh, large team, the Ex Libris team. Uh, by the way, apparently I was the only one volunteering to wear a tie from this team today. So. And uh, we look forward to uh, fruitful and uh, enjoyable uh, two days and hope to have plenty of uh, interesting discussions today and also tomorrow. So thank you.